Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fausto Puglisi from Cybertrain University, and today we are starting a new series of uh, trading on the Thinkorswim platform with something that I call Level 4. Now, if you have been attending any of our events before, you'll notice that we one of the big things that we teach is how to follow the big money. And one of the big things I want to show you, which is a great feature that Thinkorswim now carries, is Level 4 data. Now, I want to show you the power of it. And once again, if you like what you see, like us, friend us, because we're going to have a series of these videos that we want to share with you because these are the tools that we use. Now, you have to understand the way things go up and go down is supply and demand. And I've been training on Thinkorswim for, I don't know, it's got to be 20 years now, uh, ever since it actually came out, believe it or not. And uh, one of the big things that made it very difficult to trade on Thinkorswim because I'm more of a stock trader, which I know we have a lot of those out there. So I'm not really that much of an options trader, but now they integrated this big tool into it. It changed everything. So let's get right into it. What you're looking at right here, this is a big feature that they just implemented. It's called book map. Um, if once again, if you go to Cybertrain University and you know, if you look up Bookmap, you'll notice that we've done a lot of events with them. It's one of the biggest things that we uh, pitch now in a way of as a tool to use. Now, not having as a standalone now, you could actually get it in the Thinkorswim platform. All you have to do is subscribe to it. Now, what I want to show you here is the tools of how it works. And once again, there's going to be a with this series, I'm going to do a couple of different examples. I'm just going to give you a basic one, and then obviously we have other ones. What we're looking at is more of a heat map. And this is basically a heat map of different ECNs orders out there. These are orders that are being bought and sold that are out there. See, a lot of people that trade the market, they like to use indicators, and they're always focusing on what's happening in the past. We don't do that here at Cyber University. The way I was trained, being a market maker, we teach you how to focus on the future. The future are the buyers and sellers that are out there. You have to remember what is in the past is not always indicative of the future. So we focus on the future. And the future is where are the institutions, the high frequency trades, the algorithms, the market makers, the brokerage firms. These are the things you're looking for, the dark pools. So as we're looking at this, we're looking at a stock symbol called Microsoft. And just briefly, just show you what we have. They, this actually will actually show you pre-market trading, which you could see right here. You could see from 9 a.m. to uh, 9.30. Hold on, I'm just getting a little pointer out there. This guy's going to follow my little dot here. See my little dot right here. So you could see right here that you can get pre-market data now. So you could sense of direction where it's going. And that's something that we teach and we do a lot in here in my trading room. We actually start, you know, an hour before the market even opens up. And once again, that's a lesson itself. The big thing that we're looking at is what exactly we're we looking at. Well, what we have right here is looking at Microsoft today it had a really big buy. That green ball means that there was a very big volume of buyers out there, and that kind of made the stock go up. If you use time and sales, you know, that shows you where the transactions are taking place, the bid or the offer. Now, you can see how the stock went up, and then you're getting these little lines right here. You're seeing like these orange lines, these red lines. These are orders that are out there. And by knowing those orders are out there, you're seeing, which I guess most of us should know, what makes a chart very attractive is supply and demand, support and resistance. You cannot have a support or resistance unless those buyers are out there and those sellers are out there. So this is this, these are the, the, the tools that we look at. Now, you could see how the stock obviously went up, and then you get these really, really, really bright red bars right here on this heat map. These are orders that are out there that are very substantial. We call them iceberg orders, big block institution orders. And those, once again, if you're a good trader and you understand how to read charts, you'll know that if you could read support and resistance levels, what makes them? Big buyers and sellers. It's simple math. It's that easy, not making it complicated. Now, the thing that we're looking at right here is looking where those orders are. And what makes these big orders right here are these big orders of the buyers and sellers out there. So you want to know where they are. Now, knowing who they are and what they're doing, if I'm, you could zoom in and zoom out with the platform. And you could see right here is that 
right here, we had a very big order out here. And over here where it says COB, these are the actual orders at every price level. And we could zoom in a little bit closer and we could like zoom in, go in and out. And we'll talk a little bit about that in the upcoming videos. But what we're looking at is seeing where those orders are taking place. Are they getting hit on the bid? Are they getting hit on the offer? Right here, what you'll notice that there was a about a $30,000 share buy right here. If you look here at this big volume bar right here, there was a lot of orders that got executed at that price. Now, once again, support and resistance levels get broken all the time. Right there, there was a big buyer. In theory, you would think the stock's going to go up. But what happens if that buyer gets executed? You can see what's happening. The stock is starting to go down. Now, what is the game plan? The game plan is how much lower could it go? Where is the next support levels? And you could see right here on the right-hand side, you could see that there is a buyer right now for 14,000 shares at 305.50. And if it breaks that, the next buyer is at 305. So it's about a 50 cent move. Look at there, and this is the key you got to look at right now, fellow traders. You are seeing orders, big block orders out there. Once again, you're not trading 14,000 shares of a $300 stock. Someone is. So stop being a leader and start learning how to be a follower because it's these orders that are gonna make those support and resistance levels and it's the book map of trading on something called level four where the institutions are and the algorithms and the high frequency trades that are gonna give you that game plan to make smarter and better in trading decisions. Now, if you like this video, like I said, we're gonna have a whole series of them. I'm gonna do a bunch more videos like this. I wanna do a little basic video just to kind of give you the benefits of it. So once again, like us and friend us and we'll see you in the next Think or Swim video on level four. Thanks for watching.